Trellis research has been around now for 21 months. That's nearly two years. And it's time for another quarterly update. I'm going to talk about some of the key tutorials that have been made over the past few months. I want to announce the grants for the last quarter, Trellis AI grants. I'll announce as well a new way to collaborate with Trellis. That's the AI residency program. And last of all, I want to tell you about the Trellis Arc AGI 2 team. So in line with this overview, I'm going to start off with a few tutorial and repo updates. As you may know, or if you don't and you're new to the channel, Trellis Resolve revolves around five categories of tutorials. There are tutorials for fine tuning, inference vision, audio, and then evals. Now, each of these categories has got its own playlist, as well as a repository, which you can purchase access to. Now, you can watch these tutorials, of course, here on YouTube or on X, or you can also get them if you subscribe on Substack. And at this point, uh, there are very many videos in fine tuning, uh, over 30 in inference as well. Uh, Vision 9, Audio 9, and three videos uh, in evals. So if you click on the description below, you can find the links for any of these playlists or the repos. Now, what I want to do is go through very quickly uh, some of the key videos and tutorials that were added in each of these five categories. In fine tuning, if you check out the playlist, uh, I spent significant time talking about reinforcement learning, in particular how GRPO works, comparing that to supervised fine tuning. Also, I talked about advanced embedding approaches, including CDE, and also how to fine tune the latest modern BERT series of embedding models. In inference, I worked quite a lot on agents over the last quarter, and I expect that to continue. I have a video describing how to use MCP, but also how to build MCP services from scratch. I also talked about memory for agents. OpenAI have just released memory support, not in the EU yet, but for ChatGPT. And I talk about how to add memory in a read-only form or read-write form uh, in these videos on memory from earlier this year. Moving on to multimodal, there was a video covering how to fine-tune an AI avatar, as well as a video covering the top vision models for 2025, including Moondream, Small VLM, and Quen 2.5 VL, which is probably the strongest model if you want to do fine-tuning. Moving on to speech, whereas previously I'd made a video on how to tune a diffusion type model, style TTS2, I've now included Orpheus and Sesame CSM1B models. These are token-based audio models, and I describe how to fine tune them and the theory behind them right here in this video. I also talked a bit about Quen 2.5 Omni, which allows you to take in audio and also generate audio. Last of all, there's the evals repo. I plan to add to this again. I mean, I'll add to all of the repos over the next quarter, but I did add one video and that's on building custom LLM benchmarks. So now you have frameworks through these videos on how to create eval data sets, including manual review, how to run evaluations and how to determine whether your LLM is performing well or not. So that's a very quick overview of the five repos here. As I mentioned, I'll be adding more to each of those over the next uh, quarter. Now, if you want to get access to these video tutorials, I said you can subscribe on YouTube, X, or Substack. But if you want access to the playlist links, just as a handy list by email, you can subscribe to trellis.substack.com. And when you get the subscription email, you can just respond with a particular keyword. I think it's kindly send in the subject line, and it will automatically send you back an easy list of those playlists. Last of all, uh, as an aside, if you're on YouTube and you want to become a member of the channel, you can do that. I've got some small perks for those who join. There are three levels. All of the levels will get early access to any of the shorts I make. And if you're on the attention seeker or transformer level, you'll also get early access to videos I make. Typically, I make the videos a few days in advance of them releasing publicly, and you'll be able to see them just that little bit sooner. The next thing I want to touch on is how to get support. I've tried to streamline the process as people often have quite a few questions, and I want to help out as much as I can. The first line of support is to leave a comment on YouTube X or Substack. I try to answer questions uh, as much as possible. I rarely miss any of the comments. So that is your best first call. If you do then need further help and you have access to GitHub, you've purchased access to one of the repos, I recommend creating an issue there uh, if you find anything wrong or that could be improved within one of those repos. Moving a step further, you can go on to Discord. You'll get Discord access if you purchase all of the repos. That's via the repo bundle or you can just buy deep Discord access via the link that is right here. Now, last of all, uh, for the most support, you can submit a consulting inquiry. I've put a link here if you want to describe a bit more about what you need help on. 
or you can even directly book a session uh, with your credit card by going after this link right here. Now it's time to announce uh, the Trellis grants for the last quarter. This program has been running for uh, one year now. This is the fourth quarter in which I've awarded uh, prizes or broader grants for those who have completed them. And these are $500 fast grants for building AI tools. You can apply via this link here. You must have a pathway to generating revenue with the idea that you're planning to apply with. That's not Trellis revenue, that's uh, your own revenue, but that is a criterion that I have for those who want to apply. If you do apply and get accepted and complete your grant, you'll be eligible to attend the Trellis grant mixers, which will occur online twice per year. We just had uh, our mixer there for April about two weeks ago. Alumni also are eligible to be considered uh, for a 10K safe investment. Now, if you follow this link, you should be able to find uh, the application page, and you can also find a list of all of those who have been awarded grants. And so I'll just give a shout out to those, there were six that received grants during the first quarter. Martin Disley for working on neural pruning, uh, Neilan who was working on training a video tokenizer uh, that's capable of compressing videos. Madan who was working on video to VFX system, that's for adding special effects to videos. Tiberio working on a CAD IDE. So this is AI for doing CAD drawings. Ali, who's leading Transformer Lab and adding functionality to support various forms of preference tuning, and Arav Sharma, who's working on a brain-controlled exoskeleton arm. So congratulations to all six of the grant recipients. Uh, you can check out some of the previous recipients right down there below, and you can apply for yourself right up uh, here if you click this link to the application form. Moving now to working for Trellis, there are now two ways. One is via Trellis Collabs, which have been running for some time already. And the second is the new AI residency program. So let's just click on this link uh, to check out this page here. And indeed it shows, first of all, the remote collaborations, and second of all, the in-person AI residency. Now remote collaborations remain as they have been. There's a $500 payment on completion of the project, but now there's also a $500 bonus if you land within top quartile performance in terms of the number of viewing hours of that video. You'll get mentorship one-on-one uh, -on -one for building a project. We'll turn into a YouTube video along with the project for one of the repos. And you will also get credit in the video and on any of the social media links where I post that video. Now, taking this further, those who have completed a Trellis Collab are now eligible for an in-person AI residency. This is where you get to spend more time on site at Trellis Dublin office for a period of eight to 12 weeks. And you'll have the opportunity to collaborate with myself and other Trellis team members on a specific product that will also go on YouTube. Last of all, I'm announcing the start of a process to build a team for Arc AGI 2. Many of you will hopefully be familiar with Arc AGI 1, and I'm hoping to do a video on that very soon. Um, we're now accepting applicants and I'm targeting a final team announcement in July 2025. You can find out more if you go to this link here, which is trellis.com forward slash arc dash AGI2. There will be three steps in the application process. The first is a very short application form where you'll fill in your GitHub profile. Any public Arc AGI work done to date and experience working as part of a team doesn't have to be Arc related. Those who are selected will then be invited to interview. It will be a short 30 minute interview where you walk through the solution of an ARC AGI one problem using some established met method that you think uh, you'd prefer to present. Then those who are selected out of the interview process will move to a provisional team. And that team will start having regular meetings in May, 2025, right at the start of May before a final team of no more than five, probably less than five will be selected in July of 2025, because we need to have some months in advance of the deadline for the competition closing later this year. You can apply if you'd like to be considered for the Trellis team by clicking on this link and filling out the form. I'll review the applications on a rolling basis. If you do apply sooner, uh, you probably will have a better chance of getting an interview. Now, we'll also be seeking sponsors for the Trellis Arc AGI2 team. If you'd like uh, to express interest, you can do so via this link here. Sponsors will receive recognition, not just on this page and in Trellis uh, videos about Arc AGI, but also within any branding, clothing, or even within the Trellis team name that will be submitted to the Arc AGI leaderboard. 
And that, folks, is the overview for Trellis for this quarter. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll put the links down below within the description. Cheers.